up? Inner City Hermit, uh, Earth, World, everybody who's listening, whoever's listening, anybody who's in isolation, is bored shitless and it's brought you to this shit show of a podcast, welcome. Welcome to the Inner City Hermit Podcast, where it's just me talking about life and, well, talking about just fucking anything. Anything right now, because we're in isolation and there's nothing else to do, so why not have a yarn with the hermit? Welcome back, guys. It's another one for it's it's, it's time for a solo one. And my last solo one, I've been, you know, my last solo one was very negative. It was very negative. I listened back to it and I was like, you know what, Matson, you're a fucking pessimist. I think that's it. Pessimist. Yeah. Pe- uh, look, probably not a pessimist. I, it it was one of those podcasts that I enjoyed doing because I had to get a lot off my chest, and that is what this podcast is about. It's about me putting my feelings out there, and hopefully they resonate with someone. And if they don't, well. That's not really my problem. It's up to you. You know, you don't have to watch it. You're not forced to watch it. I'm not going to sit here and tie you down and fucking make you watch my ugly face. But uh, yeah, no, I hope I hope some people, I did say, you know, not many people watch, obviously, and that's okay. But I hope that like one or two people saw it and um, and hopefully they got a little bit inspired by my little, uh, my little, not really rant, but my little go be creative fucking yarn. But yeah, guys, we're back. We're back again. Another solo one. Another solo one with just me. And uh, you know what I forgot? Sorry, I got a got a dry throat. It's not Corona though. Don't stress. Don't stress. It's not Corona. I'm safe. I'm staying in isolation. I'm not going outside. I don't. Uh, I'm not. I, nah. No. 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 I'm good. I'm. I'm living my new life inside. Being a hermit, it's not that hard for me. I enjoy being inside. But anyway. Um. Oh shit! I forgot what I was gonna, I was going to say. Oh well, um, yeah. Well, you know, we're back again. We're back again for the potty. For the potty. Um, it's been a it's been a great week. Uh, no, what was I going to say? I was going to say something and I forgot it. No, nah, it's gone. Don't worry about it. It must have been important. It must have been important. Anyway, sorry about that. Welcome to the shit show. Um, yeah, this week has been man. It's been a ride. It has been a fucking ride. It's been a hectic ride. Um. Man, I'm just grateful that I have had this. Um, this has sort of been that that bit of my life that uh, that stayed fairly. Um, how do I say this? Fairly consistent, you know. And it's not consistent because it's busy. It's consistent because I make it busy. I think uh, that was one thing I really had to make sure of. Um, Make sure of that I really kept myself accountable with this because it is easy to lose motivation in this sort of time, and I feel as though um, I feel as though with everyone sort of cooped up, um, I want to I want to keep creating stuff, um, and you know it's it's one of those situations where it's not as if like I'm sort of buying in like oh everyone's at home man I need to create content for people to watch, but um, I feel like I need to do it for myself so I stay sane. It's something for me that keeps me sane. Otherwise, I think I'd just sit around doing fuck all and it'd be like really negative for me. So it's good. I love it. And that's what I was going to fucking say, but I forgot it. But I remember it now. Inner City Hermit turned one. Yes, I turned one. I turned one. Um, I actually turned one about two weeks ago, but I, uh, I, of course, everything's been going on. I had this amazing first birthday podcast that I was going to do. Obviously, the world decided to fucking create the next pandemic, and I forgot about it. But yes, the Inner City Hermit has turned one, one year of the Hermit. Um, I do have a video on the way. It's not a massive video. It's not a, a, a phenomenal video. It's not going to be world-changing, but um, I obviously have a couple. In, within the year, I've, I've had a couple parts of the podcast that have stood out to me and whether they're, you know, conversations with friends, conversations with, you know, guests that I've randomly sort of had on that I haven't met before or just things that motivated me. So for example, a a podcast that really motivated me as I was doing it was the one with uh, Connor McCauley. That was, that was a big one because I, I didn't really know Connor too well. I knew of him, but seeing that kid's fucking drive and that kid's ambition was just so refreshing, man. Like, you know, that's, that is one guy that I'm just like, you're a beast, man. You are a fucking beast. So that was awesome. And then obviously seeing my mate Darcy, when I had him on, you know, he started the, the, um, gold by the gram Instagram and that just flourished into this, you know, bloody brilliant beers. So, you know, I felt like I, I saw that firsthand and, and that was so rewarding, not just as a, uh, 
sorry, the sun's in my eye. Not just as a as a friend, but as a as a as a creator as well. That was just so motivating. So, um, yeah, it was it was really good. So there's obviously parts of the of the first year of the hermit that I'm gonna sort of piece together. It'll be about a 20 minute video, and it's all my favorite parts of the podcast and and parts that really uh, were special to me. Um, and they may have even been just solo podcasts where I've sort of come up with some thoughts that I, I didn't really know. Uh, I didn't really piece them together, but I thought you know that's that's funny, and a lot of people have that. Like, you know, I flash back to it accidentally lying. The amount of people who come up to me and say, hey, that accidentally lying video hit the nail on the head. I've done that too. And that was, in a way, reassuring for me because I thought I was the only one that did it, and I thought I was a bit of a sociopath because I was doing it. And worked out, well, not really a sociopath, but just a bit of a fucking idiot. But hearing other people do it all the time makes me feel, um, makes me feel really good. So, you know, one year of the hermit... Uh, this thing is not stopping. This train's not stopping. I'm having a fucking blast doing it. I'm not stopping. Um, if anything, I want to keep doing more because I'm just getting so confident with it. And even down to the podcast. So obviously, I think, am I going to release? I'm releasing this podcast before I release the one with Kate, I think. Or maybe not. Maybe I just did a spoiler. No, no, no. I'm going to release the one with Kate first and then I'll release this one. But um, even down to the challenge of of doing podcasts via Zoom. You know, I finally got it down that I was going to do podcasts uh, only in person. I was very, very... There's something about that connection of being in the same room and conversating that's really, really good for me. Um, but obviously, with Corona, I, I recently had to I had to cancel a couple, a couple guests and that really felt shit for me. So, And I felt as though that there was nothing I could really do. That I was just like, well, it's just going to be me talking and not really interviewing people and the the thought of stepping into that online realm and learning a whole new skill was a little bit daunting to me but I just decided you know what fuck it you know people are a lot of people will be in the same boat with uh, needing and you know needing to adapt and needing to adjust and and yeah so I I was just like fuck it I'm going to download zoom I'm going to do some research I looked at multiple YouTube videos I think I studied for about two hours and then pulled off a really good Zoom podcast. So you would have seen that last episode and I was really stoked about it. So fuck yeah, I'm, I'm really stoked. And this ain't stopping, man. I'm going to keep charging. So I, I am going to try and open up my uh, avenue of, of getting people um, you know, on, online now and, and having chats with them online. So yeah, hopefully I can reschedule a couple people um, and they can come on and they can do it just in the comfort of their own home. So you know, hopefully um, bear with us, obviously, they're not the audio quality is is going to change but you know fuck it content's content and you guys will enjoy it so you know it is what it is man it is what it is we're going to keep pushing um but yeah so that's that's a big milestone for me because when i started the podcast i didn't think i'd do it for a year i i honestly thought it was going to be like one of my other me- uh, ventures and you know here i am sitting at episode 45 and feeling really proud of myself so Fuck yeah, Matson, you little motherfucker. Um, but yeah, um, but I tell you, it's it's really hard uh, lately. You know, sometimes I'll usually sit down. I usually do it in the morning. Sometimes in the afternoon, I'll have a little bit of, a bit of a brainstorm about things I want to talk about on the podcast. Oh, that's really annoying me with the sun in my eyes, but there's not much I can do. Um, and I've been finding it really hard to think of things to talk about that don't involve corona because i'm at the stage now and i and i guarantee everybody is kind of at the stage now not in a bad way you obviously want to stay informed you want to know what's going on and all that sort of shit but i i've been really searching for things that um that are not corona related that are that are still talking points you know like it's and it's really hard like i've been trying to i sit there and i sort of try to craft some memes and shit like that and everything leads back to Corona because it's obviously that thing that everyone has in common. Um, but I was sitting at the lights today and it just driving home from work lately because obviously I'm still working because I'm essential. Um, there's a fucking topic in itself. The non-essentials versus essentials, like whatever. I've seen some fucking heinous shit on Facebook. Good work, guys. Um, but I was sitting at the lights and... I've noticed like this week, obviously with less people on the roads, I think driving for me has been a lot, as you guys know, if you're a frequent follower of the podcast, fucking driving drives me up the wall because people are fucking stupid. So um, 
yeah, I was driving through the city and, and obviously it's a lot quieter because a lot more people are working from home. Um, and I've really been enjoying the drive. I've been enjoying the drive um, to and from work. It's less stressful. It's it's great. It's it's no traffic. It, it's really good. Uh, you know, it's a small win, I guess, if, if you're someone who's who's still having to go to and from work. But um, I was at the lights and... It was a red light, obviously, and uh, you know when you can tell the person in front of you is on their phone? Like, you know that they're on their phone, and I'm a massive per- like, I'm, I'm guilty of it. Sometimes I'll, oh man, this fucking thing, the sun is so badly in my eyes. How's that? Okay, let's, is that, a, there we go, that's better. Um, yeah, and I was just sitting there, and you can always tell when someone's on their phone, and it shits me, because I'm someone... I'm someone who sometimes, yeah, well, when I had my old car, my Corolla Coaster, which had the technology of a fucking, like, a, a, you know, Fred Flintstone's car, the little fucking, like, it looked, it literally looked like, like, this is what it looked like. It looked like shit. This was my old car. This is literally what my old car looked like, pretty much. Um, that's it there. That's what it looked like. It was fucking garbage. Um, oh, please don't be something bad. Oh, no, it's the Daily Mail. There you go. That's essentially what my car used to look like. And thank you. I am using... Man, stupid thing. Anyway, so I obviously had, um, you know, no technology. So there was here and there where I'd, you know, click next on my phone. I'd have my phone next to me and click next. Bad, I know. I'm a fucking idiot. I've grown up. I I now know that's a dumb thing to do. But, um... Yeah, so now obviously I have Apple CarPlay. I can just press next. But you could tell this dude was on his phone, and you could tell he wasn't—he wasn't like even paying attention to the light, which really shit me because I was like, "Fuck, dude, you got one job. Just you, you, you just go. I don't want to beep you. I, I have a fear of beeping people. I don't like to beep people, even though it's it's their problem and they should fucking get their shit together. But the worst bit about this dude was the fact that he was at the front. He was at the front of the fucking light. So. He, out of everyone that should be paying attention, this motherfucker was the only one that sits. And the worst bit about that, the worst bit about that is they usually get a honk after a while, right? They get a toot after a while. I don't know how I can stop that. Um, They get a toot after a while. And then, of course, because the light down on Ann Street is the fastest light known to fucking man. And by the time he got the toot and he fucking went... Like, no one else could get through. So, this motherfucker was so self-centered and such a piece of shit that he decided, like, he'd sit there on his phone fucking Instagramming and doing TikTok dances, whatever the fuck he's doing. And he decided that, oh, you know, I am so important. I'm God's gift to this world that I'm going to stay on my phone. I'm not even going to look at the light. And then this motherfucker just went through the light and then it went yellow immediately. There was one other car that got through. And I just thought, you know, as... The leader of the red light, as the leader of the red light, you have a responsibility to be the first one to go. And I'm not saying you need to be dead on the green, but, you know, I'm one of these people, if I'm first at the light, you know, and, you know, fair play, I'm a fucking psychopath, but I'll be looking at the light that's, you know, if it's an intersection, I'll be looking at that light. When, when When that light turns fucking yellow, I'm getting ready to go. Okay, because I know that there's people behind me that I'm the leader of. I'm now the leader of the red light pack. Like I'm the leader. I'm the alpha. I'm the big dog, the big wolf. I'm the O. I'm just the. I'm the Super Mario, and my Luigi's are behind me. So I know I'm gonna lead. I'm gonna lead these motherfuckers through the light. You know, we're going into war, and war is the next street over. And I'm leading these guys through, so I'm ready to go. So if you're at the front of a light. You need to understand your goddamn responsibilities, man. You need to know that these motherfuckers behind you, man, they're not going until you go. So you need to be ready. And if they're honking you, you ain't no leader no more. You're just, you're just a sheep. You're just a sheep and you got the cattle dog behind you saying, go, bitch. You need to be a wolf. Don't be a sheep. Don't be a sheep with a cattle dog. Be a wolf. And, uh, and that's my TED talk. Um, no, not really. But um, yeah, I was just like, fuck, just pay attention when you're driving. It's, it is so much easier to drive now that there's less people on the roads. Just fucking drive, man. Just drive. Get, get your shit together. Get it together. Get it in a bag. Get it all together. Put your bag on and fucking go. Be a wolf. 
Um, but yeah, so driving's a lot better. Driving's a bit better for me. Um, and yeah, that's my experience. But yeah, I've uh, this uh, this this pandemic sort of um, sort of really hit. I think it hit home. I think you know this. Well, no, no, it hasn't hit home. It hit home first, like last week, obviously when I recorded that last podcast. But it's it's now sunk in. I'm uh, I'm at I'm at peace with it. I know what's. I think it's it's becoming. I guess the new norm. Like you, you know, that isolation's a thing. We're gonna have to stay inside. And I think a lot of people are. You know what's a cool. You know what is a cool thing um, about this. I just look back on my weekend, right? And you know, I had. Um, I had an amazing weekend, um, on, and I was, I didn't leave the house. I left the house twice. I left it Saturday, um, to walk the dog in the morning. I just went for a quick walk for, took Luna around the block so she didn't fucking eat all the shit in the apartment. And then the next day I did the same thing. But, um, I was inside for all of the weekend and there was, uh, I sort of got, I got put onto this app called house party, um, and House Party is an app where, look, to be completely honest, I don't actually know the difference between, you know, Facebook video chat and FaceTime and, and House Party, but everyone's on House Party now. And I had the fucking best time. Like, I never thought, I never in a million years thought that when they put us into isolation, I would be more social than I was not in isolation. You know, like I had group chats with my mates. I had group chats with, you know, a couple of people from school that I haven't seen in years. And I was chatting. I think at one point I was talking to one of my friend's mums, just catching up because I hadn't seen her in so long. Um, and it was, it was oddly awesome. It was so much fun. Like, and that's so weird that, you know, through all this shit, we managed to be more social. Like I had beers with my mates via house party and it was great. It was really fun. Um, but then, you know, obviously there was a part of me that was like, I realized how important human connection is, you know, like obviously I, I had a ball talking to my mates on uh, house party, of course, but there was that feeling of, of connection that you sort of, I don't know, it sounds really fucking hippie and weird, but there was that, that sun going no i think i got i got enough light to keep this going sorry i keep talking about the sun because it's right on my fucking eyes if you're listening to the audio just picture me squinting into the camera that's what you're missing out on um and yeah like i just i worked out how much we sort of need human interaction like we need human connection but i just found it amazing too that through all this we're forced like you, you take it for granted so much you know i took i honestly did i took the fact that I could go over to my mate's house, have a couple beers and head home. And I really took that for granted. And now it's at the point where I'm like, you know, fuck, like when we get through this, when, when we get to the other side of all this shit, I, I don't think I'm going to want to be as much of a hermit as I am. See, I always liked staying inside because, you know, I was like, well, I could go outside if I want, but What's the point? Whereas now, when you take that away, when you take that away from you, you re- you, you really want to, like, I don't know. It's, it's like exercise. Like, okay, it's shit, social distancing, all that stuff. People shouldn't be outside. But there is a part of me that is so happy around how many people are deciding to exercise. Like, I went for a walk with Luna and, and Kier and we were walking through and... You know, I saw a couple of people who I'm friends with around the area and I like they're people who, you know, I, I usually have a couple of beers with, don't really go to gym with or anything like that. But I was having a chat to them and I was like, this is crazy. Like, I would never have expected you to want to go for a run. And here you are running. Like, I'm like, good for you, dude. Like, this is fucking awesome. Like, people are so bored. And so I'm going to have to turn the light on. Give me, give me a tip. Give me a tip. Ah, I got a new table. Yeah, Kia's using my table and there's a fucking thing there. That really hurt. Give me a sec. And we're back. Um, 
Yeah, I was just like, this is fucking awesome. I'm seeing so many people who don't work out, who don't go for runs, who never go for walks, who they're, they're all doing it now and it's fucking awesome. So if that's you and this is the wake up call you needed to start working out, good for fucking you. I'm really proud. So, you know, keep it up, keep it up. And you know, there's with this social distancing thing, you can still go for a run and that's that's the best bit about it. You can still, you know, if you're by yourself, you can still just head on out and fucking go for a run. So I'm super stoked about that. That's really cool. Um, but yeah, yeah, life's good, man. Um, but I don't know about anybody else. I, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. So if you're, if you're one of the people that got, you know, put onto Inner City Hermit because you're bored shitless, welcome. I said that. Um, but yeah, I've been listening to a lot of podcasts too. And um, like it's crazy hearing the conspiracy theories around... Like just everything around it, everything in America currently right now is fucking wild. Like Donald Trump, you know, three days ago said we're going to be open by Easter. Two days later, he's like, nah, fuck, we're locking down. Sorry, guys. Like that's fucking wild. That's so wild that this dude, he, I don't think he knows what he's really doing. Like fair enough, he makes a decision. Excellent. Good for you. Make a decision for the country. But fuck, like to do a backflip that quickly, like to be told, yeah, it's all good. Nah, jokes we're locking down is is pretty massive. But also, I cannot even like, okay, so Donald Trump's been caught out saying a couple different things, right? And I don't know, like, I don't know. I, I There's a part of me that makes me think that this, that he does it on purpose. Like he has to have do, be doing this on purpose. Like, okay, don't just, I'm paraphrasing here. So don't fucking call me out and whatever. I'm like, yeah, you know, I'm not a fucking, yeah, you know, I'm not fucking uh, nutcase and I'm not hateful, but Donald Trump referred to, uh, <laughs> no, don't laugh. Donald Trump referred to coronavirus as the Kung flu. The president of the free world, Donald Trump, president of America, referred to the coronavirus as the Kung flu. Now, there is no way this man cre- like thought of that. That is a comedian joke. There is no way Donald Trump sat down and said, I'm going to call this thing the Kung flu. Like, he has to have a comedian or someone writing for him. Because in a sense of comedy, take away, take away you know, the whole um, pandemic thing, take away everything, okay? You, you think back to it. The disease started because a man in China ate a bat. That's that's fact, okay? That's where it came from. A guy in Wuhan ate a bat. It's from China. It's a disease stem from there. Whatever, okay? To then refer to it as the Kung Flu, as terrible as that is, there's a what that's that's almost genius to come up with that. That is comedy gold. And Donald Trump came up with that. The, pr- the president of America came up with that, maybe. There's no way. He has to have a comedian writing for him. Like, and I just think about it, you know, yeah, fair enough. I'm, I'm quoting a bit of stuff that was on Joe Rogan because obviously I listen to him a lot, okay? He's my fucking hero. I love him. Yep. Burn me, whatever. But, like, some of the shit that pops up on Joe Rogan as this is what Trump said is, I'm just like, I cannot believe, like, I am so careful as to what I say on this podcast, not because I'm like, oh, I'm worried, but I am always concerned that it can be taken out of context, okay? So, you know, I, I definitely, I can swear and do all that stuff, but I never, I, I'm always very conscious that I don't want to talk about things that are obviously going to spark, you know, hatred and stuff like that. But to listen to that man talk and, you know, he, like, it's, fucking i cannot believe like it's if you still pull back all the layers and everything i still can't believe that the the guy who the guy who ran a reality tv show with fucking like who was that guy who's the guy that fucking like kim john un is good mates with fucking the guy with the earrings and and the aids or apparently the aids um I don't know. You know the you know the guy that plays basketball. I don't know the the dude with the fucking earrings. Um, uh, crazy basketball player. Crazy basketball player. Here we go. Uh, what's his name? Dennis Rodman. Fucking Dennis Rodman. 
Yeah, like he had a fucking show where he was telling Dennis Rodman how to fucking run a business. Why on earth is that dude the fucking president of America? It, it just, I don't know. It, who cares? You know, it is what it is. And fucking, he's, he's managed to do his full term. So good for him. And who knows where the election's going to go. Speaking of elections, I've only got four minutes left, but I'm going to have a fucking rant. So I'm going to set the scene for you. It's fucking Thursday afternoon, right? How long have I got? It's Thursday afternoon. I got 25. Okay. It's Thursday afternoon, right? I'm fucking stressing because this was last week. Okay, so I, we're mid-coronavirus fucking shutdown. We don't know what the fuck we're doing. Yet I dragged my sorry ass to a fucking polling booth so I could vote. I sat in a room full of so many people so I could vote. I, I, I'm not allowed to work out in my gym. I'm not allowed to play football anymore. I'm not even allowed to fucking interview people one-on-one, -on -one, yet I can sit in a room full of a hundred fucking people and vote for some idiot to run the fucking city. How? Ugh. Where is the fucking logic? Like, I, that is such, that is such a, we're too lazy to reschedule this. We can't reschedule it. So if you get Corona, you get Corona. I think they had something like, they only had like a 60% voting thing and for fucking good reason. Like, you know, asking old people to come out and vote when they're not allowed to leave their house for any other reason. Like, are you fucking mad? Oh, that, I had, that was what, that was the whole point of this rant. Uh, sorry, this podcast was to rant about that. Like, what the, what is, what is this world coming to? That is the ultimate, you know, ha like government over health situation. Like, you can do poster votes. Why are we all voting in person? Like, I was there, I got it done, I got out real quick, and there, it was just like, it looked like a war zone, there were people with gloves and masks and fucking everything, so, I don't know, that was that was dumb, I don't, and if you didn't vote, like, hopefully, hopefully, they can, you know, wave the fine or something, or just pull out, a, full, send out postal votes for everyone who didn't vote, but here's me, probably rubbing up against some fucking corona person in the human soup of the virus, yeah. It is what it is, you know, and the world just keeps on spinning. So there it is. That's the podcast, guys. We still have three minutes to spare. I like to keep it under 30 minutes. I feel like if it's just me talking and I talk for more than 30 minutes, I'm going to go insane. But who knows? When we're in isolation, I might do fucking three hours of just me chatting and you guys can jump on live stream. I don't know how it's going to work. So, um, yeah. You know what it is, guys. It's the fucking Inner City Hermit podcast. It's the Hermit podcast. I'm going to go back to playing Animal Crossing because I fucking love that game. Um, I don't know. Maybe I can... I'll put up my fucking gamer tag or something, what it is. So if you want to bring... If you want to come to Hermville, that's what my place is called, come on over to Hermville and, uh, yeah, do your thing. Um, but, yeah, you know what it is, guys. Have a great week. Um, have a great fucking life. If you want to catch up on episodes, I've got, you know, 45 episodes to catch up on. If you're doing fuck all, why not give it a whirl? You know, why not Why not give it a crank? Or, you know what, why not start your own podcast? Why, why not? If, if you want to hit me up, jump on Zoom. We could do a podcast together. Maybe you've got an interest that might spark joy to someone else. I don't know. But anyway, guys, be kind to each other, especially right now. Don't be a fucking hoarder. Don't go to the shops and be an asshole to Woolies. Uh, check out people. They're people too, and they're doing a great job. So if you work at Woolies, fucking good on you. You're a legend, um, and keep doing your thing. And, um, yeah, you know, times are going to get better. I promise they will. And uh, if you heard it from me, you know it's true. So you guys have a, a brilliant day, week, whatever. Just be kind. Peace out, legends. Peace.